What's up guys? We went to Target. I just wanted to show you kind of what we picked up to add to some videos this weekend. So uh, they had a couple of the single uh, 25ths. We got to Beige of Chaos. A couple uh, Pharaoh Servant there. Maybe get a Jinzo or a Chaos Emperor Dragon, of course. Uh, we got a couple, uh, sorry, Duelist Nexus there. Uh, we got a little City in Flames booster bundle. And we also got, oh gosh, it's a little tin, an Articuno tin, but uh, there are five Crown Zenith packs. We've not opened those up, so that'd be fun to add. Maybe, I don't know if we'll do all these this weekend, but uh, we'll see. It's going to be fun. All right. What is up, YouTube? Guys, we have a special opening today. We have a lot of stuff to get through. Um, this is week eight in the Battles of Legend Monstrous Revenge uh, booster pack or booster box opening. Um, we are going to do something a little bit different with that today. So I'm just going to put that aside for a minute because in a second we're going to pause the video, do some magic and start the video back. Um, but we today, the main goal today is going to be this Obsidian Flames Elite Trainer box. Kind of do kind of a review on that and uh you know to see what um my thoughts are on it we're going to open up uh we've got some little what is this a booster bundle kind of review that a little bit too when, once, once we get to the, the pokemon and we also have a couple uh, appetizers if you will for today picked up some things at target so a couple of duelist nexus we've not opened those up and then they did have a few legendary packs these were all of the pharaoh servant and invasion of chaos that they had as you know we don't have that uh, jinzo or the chaos emperor dragon yet so just, you know, another little shot at that. But uh, uh, before we get into that, we have a super cool uh, piece of mail here. Um, just gonna keep the my personal information off screen here. So, um, but we're gonna open this up. So this is a ghost rare and I have not seen this yet. I'm, I'm literally opening this up, opening this up now uh, for the first time. So this would be kind of fun, put those aside. Um, so this is something that I ordered from Sassiato. Oh my goodness, guys. This is something I ordered from Sassiato. Um, so let me just show you in the box. Uh oh. <laughs> so uh, eBay, uh, if you guys use eBay, um, something awesome that they do is they do an authenticity guarantee on some of the pricier cards. Um, so let's put that there which is fantastic because you want to know what you're getting and you want to know um, that you are, you know, that, that what you bought is in fact real. Um, so they authenticate it for you. And then, uh, you know, I'm, I'm assuming like this one, for example, uh, was listed as near mint. This is again, like I said, from Sassiato. This is a ghost rare rainbow dragon. Look at how beautiful that is amazing see look at the corners small small little ding on that corner down on the bottom left tiny little ding on the bottom right but again near mint um, can have a little bit of dings but overall just a beautiful card I'm not going to take that out I'll look at that later just want to show you guys that that's incredible beautiful ghost rare it's so hard to find um, ghost rares like that uh, anymore so <clears throat> and you know and then obviously that set is not one that they print anymore so um, anyways, <clears throat> that is something kind of neat. So let, before we get into our different Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge today, we are going to open up a couple of these uh, appetizer packs. So this will be something kind of fun for you guys to see. I've not seen the Duelist Nexus packs yet, um, so I'm excited to see what these are. Um, this will be a lot of fun. I don't know what's in the set. I have no clue. As you guys know, that's kind of how I like it. Um, let's see what uh, what kind of pulls we get today. Um, like I said, I think that this is a set that you can get like the 25th Starlights from. Um, not expecting anything like that today. Uh, but just you know, some neat cards here. Um, there's a super rare Alter Geist um, Paratrader. Put that aside. Breath of, Breath of the Testina storage pot a couple extra cards here all right cool so nothing um looks like nothing super insane out of that pack there and then second duelist nexus like i guess i just want to pick up a couple just to kind of add to the video today um this is going to be largely a pokemon video but uh just to add a little Yu-Gi-Oh for my Yu-Gi-Oh folks 
here. Synchro World, Beta Evolution Pill, Double Headed Dino, Chimera Fusion. There's our super rare breath of the Tanista again, over exaggeration and emergency. So, nothing super crazy there. Pull these cards aside. <clears throat> All right. Let's get right into this. So we have two Pharaoh Servant, um, 25th. Um, so these, you know, like I said, we have not pulled a, uh, a Jinzo or Chaos Emperor Dragon. And we may not even get a, uh, a, a, a hollow in these packs, but just something to be fun to be worth, you know, to open. Hopefully it's worth uh, adding a little bit here to the video. So let's see what we can do here. DNA Surgery, Minor Goblin Official, World Suppression, Ground Collapse. We have a Mad Sword Beast. Armored Glass, Flying Kamikari number two, Drill Bug, and Gamble. Definitely a gamble with these here. All right, so open up this in Invasion of Chaos. These blisters, can't remember who the, the company, I think MJ Holdings or something like that. Uh, if I've seen before in some of the videos of the people I watch, and they're not a huge fan of MJ Holdings, but these are just pretty much straight up. I mean, unless they unless they open up Invader of Darkness. Look at that. Awesome, man. How about that? So we get we do get a secret rare. That's not the one we need, but I'll take that out of a blister. Invader of Darkness. Very cool. Just to finish that round that pack out there. Um, <clears throat> that's pretty good. We'll take that any day of the week, but yeah. Uh, Oh no, this is Fairfield, distributed by Fairfield. But uh, yeah, you can't really mess with these unless you just open up a whole bunch of booster boxes and <clears throat> you know get a few pulls and then I don't know, pack up the rest. I highly doubt they do that. It's probably just a bunch of random packs. So, um, but anyway, yeah, it would take a lot of effort to try to scam people that bad out of their money. Uh, Rain of Mercy, Science Soldier, Magic Drain, my, uh, Major Riot, Flying Kamikari, Drill Bug, and a Gamble. So, we did get an Invader of Darkness. That's pretty sweet. Um, so, here's what we're going to do, guys. Uh, and I'm literally going to pause the video uh, for this. It's going to take me a minute to get it all set. But for you guys, it'll be just like a second. So, we are going to open up this booster box. I don't know if you guys have seen this before. It's kind of an interesting concept. So um, I'm going to take out, so obviously we know that the poles are in the middle. So I'm gonna take out all the poles and I'm gonna put them face down in a stack, okay? And then before we do the Pokemon stuff, okay, before we do the Pokemon review, um, like I said, I'm gonna pause this video. So let's move this out of the way. So I'm gonna put the, the poles in a stack right here. Okay, so let me show you what the first one is and then I'm gonna pause the video and do the rest of them so you guys don't have to sit here and watch this entire process. So, again, so two from the back, right? So we know this is the rear, so we're gonna put that face down. And we're gonna make a pile of those and just so you can see, you know, here are the ultras, right? So we're gonna make a pile of those there. Uh, and then, um, after I unpause, we're gonna flip that pile over and reveal all of the hits, all the pulls, from this set. Be right back. All right, guys. So <clears throat> here's our pile. Um, and I have all the, in case you don't believe me, I have all the packs that I just opened. Here's a stack of all the ultras out of all the packs. Okay. Just so you know, there's no funny business going on in case I do pull a starlight out of this box. But this is just, like I said, this is going to be more of a Pokemon focused video. So um, we are, we're just doing this some, to, to, you know, for something different, just kind of a different change of pace. Um, some kind of fun. So all of these right here, okay, are the pulls. All of these right here are the pulls from each of these booster, uh, booster packs. So um, this is gonna be very, very interesting. All right, so we have first pull of this booster box. We have a golden rule, Herald of Pure Light. Oh, and Arms Neo, so we got to put that aside. That's not one that you get all the time. Dark Hole. Oh my gosh, these are scaring me. <laughs> no, no, Ogre Dance. Super Poly. Oh, Assault Synchron. Foxy Tune. Water Enchantress of the Temple. Tri Edge Master. Elemental Hero. Flame Wing Man. IP Mascarena, that's always a good one to get. Oh, we have a Zeus 
Hey, hey, Sky Thunder. Dude, awesome. I have an idea for that, by the way. Teller Knight, Elemental Hero, Junk Archer, Queen Tiramisu, Battlefield Tragedy, Junk Archer again, Rocket Coder, Draco, Book of Eclipse, Courageous Crimson Chevalier Bradamante, and a Terraforming. Guys, so no Starlight's out of the box, <clears throat> but that is completely fine. Um, that was something fun to do, something a little bit different today. So we've got the uh, Arms Neos, the IP, Mascarena over here. You know, always gotta, always gotta sleeve these guys up. Um, so these are pretty sweet. So, uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually give these three cards away. Now, uh, I've done this um, <clears throat> for uh, viewers uh, in the past, so, um, you know, you may or may not like this or may, may you not enjoy this, uh, but um, we're, gonna, we're gonna sign this guy here and then we're gonna give it away to one viewer. So, here's the deal. In order to win this giveaway for the Sign Zeus, okay, for the IP Masquerade, and I realize this kind of devalues this card, but if you're a, if you're a big follower of the channel, guys, this is just something that you would personally enjoy. So this is going to be our giveaway. The first person to comment correctly in this on the comment section in this video, okay, in this video, with my favorite NFL football team. The first person to do that correctly will be the winner, okay? So if you don't watch football, just Google NFL teams, okay? You can only comment one, only comment one per person. The first person to comment the correct one will be the winner of that giveaway. All right, guys, so let's move right along. We're gonna move in. So we're doing a, uh, we're doing an Obsidian Flames Elite Trainer Box review today. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, we have this booster bundle. This was also, a target purchase so I wanted to try try this out and see you know how it how it is um, <clears throat> with obsidian flames we had the you know the booster the, oh look at that, it just slides out we had the booster <clears throat> box last week and uh, man it, it was just a lot of fun oh look at that okay cool so a booster bundle let's see what you get one two three four wait one two three four five oh six Okay, so you get six Obsidian Flames booster packs. Um, that's awesome. We got to get set up here, guys, really quick. I'm almost out of sleeves. We got to have some sleeves on the side, just in case. All right, so <clears throat> Obsidian Flames. We had some incredible luck last last week with Obsidian Flames. Um, we had a lot of fun, so. I thought it would be fun to do the, the Elite Trainer Box review today. Um, code card, boom, if you want that. All right, here we go. So we have Magneton, we have Temple, Heat More. Okay, the question is, is are we gonna get any pulls out of the out of the uh, little booster bundle thing here? Uh, Poltergeist, Toad of Shrule, uh, Dolly Reverse, <clears throat> Polynard Reverse, and a Clay Doll, basic energy there. So we have gotten Clay Doll, Okay, let's see, what is this? This is the Dragonite art. So again, guys, if you if you uh, just tuned in, make sure you back that up, that giveaway. Okay, giving away the hits out of that last uh, booster box. We did pull a Zeus. It's gonna be a signed Zeus for, for, for you guys, so you need to comment on this video. What is Zeus's favorite NFL team? You can only comment one team per person, and the first person to comment that team on this video correctly I will, I will reply, let you know that you have won, and then we will go from there. Uh, usually, the Discord is how we communicate. Ooh, a little Umbreon Reverse, Steeny Reverse, and a Gita Trainer. So far, no crazy, crazy hits out of Obsidian Flame. Or at least that I can remember. I'm a little bit newer to Pokemon, but, um, uh-oh. Uh-oh. We might have accidentally shown the code card, but like I said, um, I don't even know if Obsidian Flames has the, the code card, uh, the color of the code card, if that even matters. Um, I really don't know. So, we're just going to go with it. Drample. Sharpedo. Ooh, a little Espeon. 
Soul Rock Reverse, SQEX, Full Art, and, oh, what's behind it? Oh, and we have a Pidgeot EX. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. <clears throat> so we did get our SQEX Full Art, and then a Pidgeot EX, which that is a new, I think that's a new one. I don't think that we got that last week. So that's pretty cool, guys, to be able to pull a Full Art. Look at these new packs here. To be able to pull a Full Art, um, goodness gracious. Is, is really good uh, out of a, uh, a little booster bundle. Because um, in my opinion, you know, that sort of thing does make it worth it when you're able to pull, get some like bigger hits. So that's what I was saying I love about these sets uh, for Obsidian Flames, um, or this set specifically for Obsidian Flames. Like the pull rates seem to be that of where you can go and you don't have to spend an inordinate amount of money to to get some, you know, cool, oh, there we go, energy, some crazy pulls there. Which is which I really like. I think Pokemon did right, uh, you know, for the the uh, consumer. Uh, I think they did right there. Exadrill, Pidgeot, Meltan Reverse, Barboach Reverse, and a Togekiss, which I now know is Togepi evolved a couple times. That was funny. Didn't even realize that last week. Hey, okay. like I said, Togepi is one of those Pokemon you just want to be a baby Pokemon forever. All right. Two more packs in this Obsidian Flames booster bundle. Oh, there goes the energy again. Keep pulling that out. Sorry, guys. Throw that aside. Here we go. Um, Aldino, maybe? Charmander. Dratini. Oddish. Uh, Floatzel. Wish, Wish Cash. Kangaskhan. Poltergeist Reverse. Rowlet Reverse. And a Thunderous. Thunderous Hollow there. It's a nice card. We have gotten a couple of those Thunderous Hollows so far. Like I said. No complaints. Um, I do like that you get hollows in all these packs, which is kind of cool, and that there's so many variations um, of the rare. Uh, so, you know, you, you feel like you do get your money's worth at least a little bit, or your time is worth it. So, Ortega, Magnemite, Reverse, Houndstone, Reverse, and a Clay Doll. Oh, there we go, Clay Doll, Hollow. So, out of one booster bundle, okay, uh, you do get a hollow in each, each of the packs, which is really cool. Uh, but we were able to pull a Full Art SQEX, which is really nice, and then a, P a Pidgeot EX, which is really, really cool. Because um, we had not <clears throat> gotten that one yet. So, uh, all right, let's see here, guys. I've never opened an Elite Trainer box. I do still have that Monster Charizard one uh, that we're going to get to eventually. Just kind of saving that for a special occasion. Uh, it's not one that you really open up uh, a lot of. So, let me move some of these cards over here so you guys can see as best, uh, as, best as possible. So here's the here's the trainer box. So I believe the yeah, slides off. What is this here? Okay, so player's guide there. I don't really know. I'm not gonna look through that. I'm sure that shows you what kind of hits you can get, what kind of cards they have in the set, things like that. So here's the, uh, the Elite Trainer box itself. It's be kind of fun to keep to store cards in. So this comes off the top. Uh, so what do we, what are we looking at here? So looks like we've got some booster packs on one side. Um, let's look in the middle here real quick. Let's pull this out. A couple coins. I don't have any use for those. A couple dice. Again, no use for those. I'm not sure. Uh, in Pokemon, like what they what they use those things for. Oh, oh wow, that's right. I forgot. You do get a, a full art Charmander. Um, you know, I guess promo card in here, which is pretty cool, so we'll, we'll pull that out and let you guys look at that. Okay, let's just look at the back centerings. Not too bad, shifted over this way here. Um, but look at that, a little full art charm under there. Get that on camera, very cool, very cool. Never complain about a full art. Put that aside. And then we have these are just energies. I've seen videos on that. Little dividers in here. What are these here? I think these are... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have some um, sleeves, which we'll put aside because we always can use sleeves. We have a code card in there. And then this is kind of what's interesting to me about these trainer boxes, just like it would be to anybody else. Let's see if I can get all these out. All right, for the, the booster pack. So... We're gonna put the topper back on this guy. So this is about 
fifty dollars, which you know that's a pretty good that's a pretty good amount if you ask me. Um, so for it to be worth it, uh, you know I feel like putting a lot of packs. So these are on average four to five dollars a piece. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so not too bad. And then you get the full art card. So um, let's see what kind of hits we get. Uh, you know, overall. Um, personally, unless it had like a crazy, crazy full art card, I probably will end up just going with booster boxes. I feel like booster boxes are a much better um, way to go in terms of like, you know, for opening on channels, for getting the bang for your buck, you know, you seem to get a little bit more. Oh, we have a gold Charizard EX! Oh my god, we pulled it! We pulled the gold Charizard EX! Oh my gosh! We did purchase one, but it, it feels even better to pull it. I gotta be so careful. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys, we pulled the gold Charizard EX! No way! Oh my goodness, look at that! Straight from the, from the booster box. Well... Zeus literally says, oh, I don't know. I probably won't buy those anymore. Blah, 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 blah. And then pulls gold Charizard. <laughs> right out of the booster pack. Man, Obsidian Flames, man. <clears throat> oh my gosh. How about that, dude? How about that? Gold Charizard EX. I, I am literally trying my best to show you guys that color code card there. I think uh, in, in you know previous sets, if it's green, green is bad, and if it's white and green, that's good. I don't, but you know, who knows? Tassarina, Lickatronic, Lickatronic, maybe. Ooh, Whooper, Reverse, a Cryogonogle, Reverse, and a Palafin. Um, last week, guys, we got a pretty crazy full art Palafin. Can't talk, full art Palafin, that was pretty neat. So that was um, something that's kind of cool. Oh my gosh. Gold Charizard EX. Can get this pack open? There we go. That feels good to be able to pull that. That's huge, especially. That's like pulling a Starlight, guys. Like pulling one like that. It's like pulling a Starlight. I think the pull rates are a little bit better for Pokemon, which I like. Uh, I, again, I mean that just makes it more fun for the consumer, in my opinion. Stun Fisk, Salazzle, Bisharp, Cube Cho. Ooh, and an Entei. Um, man, some of these are these are really really cool. By the way. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of these extra bulk cards here. Um, so, obviously, any Charizard I pull, I'm not going to ever probably sell or give those away. But um, any of these extra cards that you see, if you see doubles of something, you see a full art or something that you might want to purchase or that you want to be added to your giveaway, if you are the winner, let me know. The worst I can say is no. I'm going to add that to the collection. But typically, I try to oblige because I want you guys to... You know, enjoy this as much as I am. King Gambit. Oh, there's a Scyther Reverse. Love that one. A Magneton Reverse. And a Gita. We've got a couple Gitas. Elite Trainer Box, man. At least mine. That was a good box I picked, huh? There was probably at Target, there was probably like anywhere between 8 and 12 of those bad boys. If I were to take a guess. And we happen to get the one with the gold Charizard in it. Can't hate that. Here we go. Charmander. Dratini. Oddish, Wob Trio, Kangaskhan, Wishcash, Cleffa, Pidgeot EX Full Art, no shot! Oh my goodness! Oh, wow! Dude, get out of here! What is this box? Okay, well, Elite Trainer Box, guys. What was I saying about this maybe not being worth $50? I retract that statement in full. Although, disclaimer, that I mean, my experience is not going to be the same as your experience. But look at this, guys. Out of this Elite Trainer box, we have pulled Full Art Charizard Gold Charizard EX, which is like the this these are three gold stars. That's the highest rarity in the set. And then two gold stars there, Full Art Pidgeot EX. Dude, come on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Heaven's sakes, man, we are on fire. We are on fire, dude. All right, here we go. Got about what four of these left? Man, Obsidian Flames. This is. This might be. Gosh, man, it's just so fun to open. I don't want to say it's more fun than Yu-Gi-Oh, but it's. 
it's darn close. You know, it's just, it's just when you got pull rates that are good, man, it's just makes it so much more fun. It's you, like, you feel like each pack, like this could be a pack. Like this could be one where I get something crazy. And then, you know, you, whoa, what is this? A Varun full art? We got one last week. We just, put, we just pulled a full art. Oh my gosh. Varun full art, guys. We have the Varun full art, of the Varun EX full art. And there's the regular Varun full art. Come on, get out of here. Get out of here, dude. What is happening? Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, this booster box, throw those up there. All right, we have three packs left. So what do we have here? Vroom, Dragonite, and Tyranitar? Maybe? All right, so, you guys Tyranitar. Three packs left in this ridiculous opening, okay? So let me just say this, disclaimer. Okay, so my experience is not your experience, but if the pull rates are just this crazy, getting an elite trainer box may be more efficient for you, you know, uh, or not really efficient, but like a little bit cheaper for you to still have a great chance to pull stuff. So, you know, I guess I guess if the pull rates are just that good, look at that, Clefable EX, come on. What are we doing at this point? Amazing. Um, but yeah, I mean, the pull rates seem to just be uh, awesome for this set. So, you know, I, I, I kind of, as, as this video has gone on, I, I would say, you know, uh, what is a booster box is about 100 and between 110, 120 bucks, I think, depending on where you get it from for this set. So, which is, you know that you'll get some hits out of that. Um, but uh, for, you know, if you just don't have quite that much money that you want to spend, um, like I said, I feel like it's I feel like it's worth it. I feel like the pull rates are just there. Changed my mind through all the way through the video here. Toka Kiss. Um, I just think it's just so good. I mean, we we had that little booster bundle and we pulled, you know, had two hits from that. You know, a hit is basically DX full art. Anything more than a hollow is, is is considered a hit in Pokemon. So you know, incredible. Now. What is that? Oh, that's just a card. Okay. I was like, that looks really strange. Okay. Here we go. Drillbur. Coach. This is the last pack, by the way, guys. So this has just been crazy. Crazy, crazy. Fungus. Small Live. Ooh, and a Dark Rye. You know we love Dark Rye. All right, guys. So, wow. That Elite Trainer Box. Okay. Here it is. Obsidian Flames. You know, got to go with it being worth it. Got to go with it. I mean, it's just too... There was, there's too many pulls in this box not to feel like you get your money's worth, especially if you get a Charizard. I mean, come on. If you get a Charizard, I can't believe I got the gold Charizard, guys. Look at that. Pulling that. Unbelievable. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video today. Try to do a little bit something different with the Yu-Gi-Oh! If you've not already, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow it as much as I can. Like the video. Remember, comment on the video for the giveaway. The giveaway are these three cards and assign Zeus there that we just pulled just today. So um, comment down below in the comment section, Zeus's favorite NFL team. And the first person to do that will be the winner of the giveaway. And I will hit you up in the comment section, let you know how to contact me through Discord. And we will go from there, guys. You have an awesome day and Zeus out.